York with us right now, the guy who's got the pressure of the world on him right now in the Big Apple Demache, uh, the New York City of Police Commissioner. Commissioner, very nice to have you. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for having me. Um, you, you might have heard of what the governor had to say. Uh, the police in New York City were not effective at doing their job last night. Uh, what did you think of that? Well, you know, I just heard a story about somebody saw a protester, uh, excuse me, a looter arrested. The reality of the situation is that that looter will probably be back in three hours and we'll have to catch him again. Uh, any comments that are placing the blame for where we are with this situation on the backs of the men and women of this police department that are putting their lives on the line, Neil, I think is disgraceful and he should be ashamed of himself. There's politics and there's what's right. And that is a disgraceful comment. So you don't appreciate what the governor had to say because he went on to say he's 38,000 people that protect property. All right, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I think my point is uh, self-evident. So do you think that in retrospect, you could have used either more men and women on the force last night could have been more proactive in the face of all of this. Um, will you be tonight? How would you describe it? Yeah, well, it, well obviously, Neil, it's a difficult situation. Um, when you step back, this isn't a New York story. It's, it's a countrywide story. Um, when you look at uh, the incident in Minneapolis, that horrible, announced almost immediately by police executives across the country. Um, but there is a bigger story, and it's not just about this incident, I think. And we recognize that. And we recognize, and I've said publicly many times, welcoming um, protests. We respect the concerns. Uh, I think we have to look in the mirror as police executives across this country and recognize that we have to do better at times, too. But there are protests and there are honest discussions that have to take place from both sides. We'll get out of this together, I think. But what you see on some of these videos, whether it's in New York City or other parts of this state or this country, with the looting, with the attacks on police officers, Neil, it's it's very difficult times and it's disheartening. We we have had just in the last 24 hours police officers uh, shot at, run over with a car, Molotov cocktails thrown. So I would appreciate a little bit of leadership from the executives across this state that run for public office. This is where you shine, or this is where you are are exposed. And we're not seeing enough support, in my opinion, for the men and women of this police department that are the best, the best that this country has to does offer. That include, does that include, Commissioner, uh, the, the mayor? Do you feel that the mayor, as some critics of the mayors have said, have uh, sort of tied one harm behind your back, that you can't respond or reply the way you might want? Is that true? He has absolutely not tied his, uh, our hands behind his back. I mean, I speak to the mayor uh, multiple, multiple times every day. Do we see eye to eye on every issue? Absolutely not. I said many times, the world would be a boring place if everyone had the exact viewpoints. But I can tell you definitively that he has the backs of the men and women of this police department. Uh, it is an extremely difficult time. Um, you heard him on the news today. You may have heard his comments denouncing uh, the actions of those that are attacking the cops. And again, what we need is probably less press conferences uh, by many people and more support and more coming out and making difficult decisions that may not be the most popular, uh, but decisions that will state the truth with honesty, with where we are as a country and a state as a, and a city, and what we need to get out of this instead of taking easy shots at, at the men and women, not only at this police department, but law enforcement in general. Law enforcement is far from well, perfect. Pat, Pat, Lynch, Pat Lynch, who's the, you know, uh, the PBA commissioner, sir, has yep. said that uh, he got a sense from his men and women that they're not being supported uh, by you or certainly the mayor. Um, you, you say what to that? Well, it's unfortunate. I know Pat very well. I respect him greatly. I would disagree with that comment if that was how it was uh, said. But again, I, I, I did not hear him say it. Okay, so let me ask you a little bit about what uh, the yep. governor has said, that he could always has the option of displacing, of replacing the mayor here. How would you feel about that if the governor acted to say, all right, 
you're not getting it done, I will. Neil, I, I don't think this is productive. I really don't. When you look at, when you look at the, uh, you know, this politics at play here, obviously, what everyone should be concentrating on here is how do we get out of this situation? There's marches across New York City going on right now, and they are peaceful. But I, I think that you know that when you look at what's transpired across the country, I mean, we have been very fortunate in some ways here in New York City. We've had officers injured, and it's terrible. We have not had loss of life here. There's been loss of life in, in places across this country. I think all leadership, all elected officials, law enforcement professionals, clergy, community leaders, everyone, this is the time to come together, not to throw, throw barbs, throw press conferences, and advance self-interest. Let's come together and decide how do we get out of this before innocent people are hurt, before unnecessary public property is destroyed. That's what we should be concentrating on. You know, Commissioner, there's lots of video. People have smartphones now, so they end up taking a lot of, of, of video and pictures. Um, that sometimes don't tell the whole story. There's one famous incident, of course, that emerged of, of, of an officer brandishing a gun on a protester. We come to discover in another video, and I think we have it here as we're speaking to you, sir, where uh, that protester was flinging a brick or trying to uh, at, at a lieutenant. So it's possible that this officer saved that lieutenant's life. Do you worry that the image that some in the force are getting is that they're just prone to violence? And you're not getting the whole story. Yeah, but I think it's a two-way street there, Neil. I think that you also have to recognize that uh, we make mistakes, too. And you, a lot of what's going on now is people have lost faith uh, in, right. and, and believe there's not enough transparency when an officer does do something wrong. But this is a complicated situation. And when that, when that first video came out, it was a, a, a video of an officer pointing a gun at the crowd. Um, it doesn't look good. Right. It doesn't look pretty. But when you heard the whole story, um, you had the lieutenant standing there, um, minding his own business, and a, and a criminal, you know, some would say protested, but I'm drawing a line between people that are actively looking to commit crimes and harm people, walked up from behind like a coward with a brick in his hand and, and tried to basically take the head off of that lieutenant. That's what was responded to by the, by the officer. Um, so, I, again, there'll be times that we do things wrong. There will certainly be times that we do things wrong in, in the middle of a riot as well. Um, I think we do the best we can. We have to own the mistakes and own up to them. When, 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 um, when we do egregious things, we have to tell people that we recognize it as quickly as possible and take corrective action. And that corrective action could be a multitude of things. Uh, officers need to be disciplined when they do things wrong. But, but there is a, a very toxic environment right now, um, fed by a lot of misinformation, a lot of it organized. A and I think that people are smarter than some of the news reports and Twitter feeds that are going on. But it's a, it's a time that we need, again, leadership, calmer heads to prevail. Uh, to get us out of this, to lead us out of this. I spent today talking with, this morning with a reverend, uh, planning, th what can we do this week? We can't wait till next week. We can't wait till tomorrow. What can you do today? What can we do together? What, impro what improvements can we make to start turning the tide here? And I think everyone needs to think that way. Do you have any concern yourself, Commissioner, about how the president has involved himself to say that not, not enough governors have been tough, that uh, it, it's time to get really, really tough, um, and that if you guys, by extension, don't do it, he will. I guess he was referring um, to military or, or presence or action in cities and states. How do you feel about that? Neil, I'm going to leave that to whether it's uh, the mayor, the governor. Um, I have enough on my plate right now. Um, we will get out of this, is the message to New Yorkers. Um, and, and thank you again for giving me the opportunity to come on today. It has been a tough five days. No, I, I, it's been a tough I, I appreciate five days that, for sir. I, I, how, how are you going to distinguish tonight? How do you think you'll distinguish tonight between appointment protesters, those who are not in the area, they're just trying to rattle cages, and those who are trying to peaceably speak their mind? Yeah, and that's a great point, and that's the shame of it, Neil. Uh, last two nights in particular, we went all day long 
There's been many videos of uh, members of this department standing in solidarity with the protesters, kneeling with the protesters. I 100% support that. We are, uh, we need more of that to see each other. Um, what is a cowardly act, and it needs to be called out, and it has been called out many times, is using uh, or hijacking, if you will, a peaceful protest that is trying to enact change, trying to do what they think is right, and, and using that as mm. cover to really then sow hate. And that's what they're doing uh, in an organized fashion, uh, attacking police officers. We see it in burning fires. Uh, it is literally playing with people's lives, and not just the men and women right. of this police department. Okay, Commissioner, thank you very, very much. We know you have a crazy schedule. We appreciate you taking the time to spell it all out. We wanted to hear from you. And Neil, you're thank kind you enough very to much. Do just God that. bless. Uh,